Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 109. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you're new here, leave a hi down below. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. You didn't see how many subscribers we have. I didn't, and I'm not going to moving forward from this 109th keto on the couch. Why not? Because I was reminded this week in my own journey that it's an individual thing and it doesn't matter if there's 2,000 new people or 20 million new people, it's one journey at a time. So I don't want us to think about the numbers. I think I want us to think about the relationships. But we're so close to 20,000 subscribers. You want to tell me, don't think about the numbers. It doesn't matter because honestly, to God be the glory anyway. So it really just doesn't matter. And I'm just thankful for this opportunity to be here today. And if you're out there and you're seeing us, we love you. I like that. So now if you are new on our channel, welcome. Also, if you're joining us on Monday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time right now, we are live in the chat. So go type hello to us. Let us know that you are new. Yeah. So every Monday morning, we actually like to premiere Keto on the Couch where we go live in the chat. We used to do it live occasionally and some people didn't like it live, but they like that live idea of doing chat. So we like to do that. And we're thinking about doing it with some other videos as well. So yeah. let us know if you like the premiere aspect and maybe we can do couple of other videos that way. I'd love it. Now, we do have a sponsor for today's video, and that is Equip Nutrition. Yay! And uh, Equip, if you don't know, has some phenomenal nutritional supplements. Uh, we love their protein powder. Yes. They also have a microgreens. Uh, they have an unflavored complete collagen. Mm -hmm. And then also they have one of our favorite products for them, which is the Smart Sleep. Yes. Now, here's the thing. They are actually doing a special sale for us this week only. If you use the link down below, you will get 25% off of the Smart Sleep. So I love that stuff. If you need, you know, some magnesium at night, if you're having some leg cramps, if you're like me and you're having a hard time getting some sleep, go ahead, use the link down below, get yourself some Smart Sleep. It tastes great and it really, really works. And also, T try some of the other products as well. So, yeah. especially the strawberry uh, protein powder. We yes. love this one. So, we have a lot to do today. We do. Yeah, and I think we need to kick it off right away with picking the winner For the of the keto, keto crate. crate. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, we love giving away stuff. So, we uh, on our keto crate video, we went through everything. There were a couple of things in there that we really liked, but. We said we were going to give one of these away on yeah. today's Keto on the Couch. Not this one. You get a new Not one. Not this one. You're getting a brand new one. It's going to be shipped directly from Keto Crate. Now, just a little heads up. A lot of times we get emails like, hey, I haven't gotten my Keto Crate yet. Uh, generally, what happens is when you win Keto Crate, they send you next month's box. Right. Sometimes they will send this month's box if we get the answer of like who it is early enough and if they have any left. But lately, yeah. they've been selling out. So a lot of times you get next month's box. Right, so they're gonna hold it until they, they give the May people their box. Yeah, so let's go ahead and head on over to Pick a Winner. Pick a Winner. And we already have uh, the URL in here. How many people wanna try a keto crate? And let's see, anything goes. Anything goes. Pick a winner. Now we can. Debbie, Debbie. Adkins. Debbie Atkins says, would love to win the box. Well, Debbie, good news, you did. You actually won it. So Debbie, here's what you need to do. You need to send us an email 
at joe at twocrazyketos.com with your email address that you want on file with Keto Crate and all of your shipping information. And we may have you uh, like do a little something so we can verify you're the winner because believe it or not, stands. we've had some people message us saying they won and they, and did they it. weren't the real winner. So we wanna make sure that the right person gets yes. it. Isn't that crazy? So how was your week this week? We're in week two of the no joke challenge. It is good, but it's interesting. We're going into to week two, Thursday marked you know one week, right. seven days. And now the newness has worn off. Right. Right? You're in week two and you have to decide, okay, I've gotten my workout outfit sweaty. Right. It's gone through the wash a couple of times. Right. I have like, you know, used my gym equipment. This the pea smell, which is really good, is out of the horse stall like things that we put down. But now it's like after the seven days of like adrenaline rush, now you just have to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. And you have to keep doing it whether or not you're seeing immediate results on the scale and in your clothes or not. Well, we're not getting on the scale. No, we're not. But I'm just saying like some people are right. Like, let's be honest. You know, some people well, may we're jump not on there. To be we're on not the supposed because to. Because the scale is, is the, the devil. devil. Yeah. But, um, you know, it can be hard mm -hmm. and challenging this week, like to keep going. Right. But I had um, a non skill victory this week that okay. I thought was really awesome. And that was Caleb came to me and said, I see what you guys are doing. I'm seeing results. I'm really proud of you. And I think I'm going to tighten up my diet. And I think that I'm going to start working out. That's awesome. And I really almost started crying. I wanted to look cool and be cool mom, but I thought, wow, me just doing the right thing for myself and keep doing it mm -hmm. is inspiring my kid. And that's what we want as parents anyway, right? We want to have opportunities to still have a positive influence on our kid. And I'm actually wearing a little bicycle charm and it is old. I mean, you can tell it's teeny tiny. It's really meant for a little kid because I got it as a little kid. It was a bicycle charm that my dad had gotten me after I learned how to ride my bicycle mm -hmm. when I was little. And I thought he was encouraging me as best as he could to like keep going. Right. Now that you've learned how to do it, do it. Right. And I want to bring that back. So I'm just kind of wearing this as a reminder that this is a generational thing. I have an opportunity to, to be healthy and fit for my kids and for my grandkids in the future. I want to build these shoulders up because I plan on giving shoulder rides to I grandchildren. Like that. I had a great week working out. So I've been doing all my working out plus a little extra work. I taught Rachel how to do sit-ups with a medicine ball oh. where you sit up and then throw the medicine ball to a partner. Yes. She almost fell over when the medicine ball like hit her. It's so scary. She wasn't expecting like a 12 pound ball to have to catch it and throw it back. It is heavy and I'm also afraid that I'm going to like weirdly try to hit it like a volleyball and smash my face with it. <laughs> but what I've been doing is I start out all of my workouts. I have been going on long bike rides, yeah. like 10, 15 miles, because we got these electric bicycles and I want to do a review on it, but I want to know how long we can get on the battery. So what I've been doing is every day taking it out for like 10 to 15 miles, but not charging it because this is how I would normally do it. Like some people say, okay, well you're gonna, I'm never, have you seen me? I'm never going on a 70 mile bike ride, right? But you might want to. I, no, no, I don't think so. Well, I like the fact that whatever it takes to, to perk your interest and get you involved in, in movement right. is good. So you're like, I wanna test out the battery on this electronic thing. And so I'm gonna be willing to do a really extended bike ride in order to achieve that, like yeah. whatever it takes. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing these bike rides every day and then I'm not charging the battery. And then I'm gonna, when I get to where I feel comfortable, yeah, I will say, okay, well, I got this much because they say it's a hundred miles, but I don't really think you're gonna get a hundred miles. I think it's gonna be like 70 miles. That's a, I'm close to that. But anyway, I'm enjoying doing that and then coming home and doing my working out and all of that get stuff. Get the blood pumping. Now, if you are interested in a review of those bikes, let us know down in the comments that you are interested in a review on it. Uh, we actually have two different ones. We're gonna do two different reviews on it. Yeah, cause So mine's make sure you subscribe to the channel for when that comes out. We're actually still waiting for mine because it came with a bad battery, which is understandable. 
But now Federal Express, I don't know. I think I'm. I think they're actually walking the battery from California to Florida. I think it's coming via Oregon Trail. So it literally, it's not the company's fault, but it left California almost two weeks ago. Yes. And it's like creeping, like spent three days there, spent two days in Texas. Now it's in, in Georgia for three days. It's kind of funny how you can track it. There's a lot of kind of wonky mail things going on. I'm on take two of a birthday card. I'm trying to get to somebody like before their next birthday party like mm -hmm. rolls around, but yeah, mail. Now, you know what else we have going on is we have our chopped challenge. Yes. And I've been enjoying the food. I have been loving the food, but honestly, I have been loving the community even more and seeing people like Heath and Steph and Christopher and, and everybody, just Lisa, putting out these beautiful displays of food and showing us that there is more than one way to cook a beef rib. Speaking of Lisa, what does our photography budget look like for two oh crazy Oh my, we couldn't afford her. It's too well, magnificent. Well, we can't afford anybody, but that's besides the point. It's beautiful, right? Like you- What could we sacrifice to get her to she, photograph all our pictures? She needs to be doing photography for a food and wine magazine. Oh my gosh. I'm certain of it. And I'm, I'm excited for her husband because like they're enjoying these beautiful date night presentations every single night. How special would you feel if you were sitting down to that as food? I would feel really special, but I'm gonna turn that question to you because yeah. we generally eat the same thing almost every single day. It's yeah. funny, we just recently watched a video from somebody of like, I eat the same six things every single day. Yeah. And like, I was like, I could never do that, but we sort of, we sort do, of that. do I mean, not exact same things, but we, we have like a very few things that we rotate in and out because convenience and time. So this challenge has been interesting for me because we're trying new things. It's making me pull out old tricks, things that we haven't done in a while, like doing some smoking on the smoker. Yeah. And you're know, like, because I love the smoker, but it's a time thing. Some of the things that I want to smoke are going to take five, six, 10, 15 hours to smoke. So I got to plan ahead. So. How do you feel where all of a sudden, like everything that you're eating is different? Like you keep going like, what are we eating? I'm like, I don't know yet. I haven't. When I, it's, it's done, <laughs> you talk about it being precious if it takes we, a long time. We were making the pork the other day and you're like, when's it gonna be done? I'm like, when the smoker says it's gonna be done. <laughs> I had forgotten like how impatient I had gotten because we have been eating a lot of like ground beef Five and minute eggs, prep, right? And that goes really, you know, fast. So mm -hmm. I think that you just have to kind of meal prep in your mind too, mm -hmm. that that maybe the schedule is going to be a little bit different than, than you're used to because of, of preparation, because it had been a while. But once it's done, like I can't even remember the last time I had beef ribs. Yeah. And and it was delicious and it was so such a unique experience because we don't have it. I I really felt special. It's funny. We had beef ribs but they were weird. So they were beef ribs but I got them from Sam's Club. So I'm used to short beef short ribs where they're the little tiny thing and then you smoke them or however you're going to cook them and you end up with like the bone sticking out on both ends and you have like, you feel like you have a bite of food left. Yes. And these where they actually cut them like super thin. You had the same bone, but they cut them different. And it was weird. Like I actually had to message Chris. I'm like, how long do you think it's gonna take to smoke these? By the way, the answer was two and a half hours. Um, but I'm used to like smoked beef ribs taking hours and hours and hours, but so that's what they had at Sam's Club. It was nice. And that's actually something that my mom eats often mm -hmm. in the uh, air fryer. Mm -hmm. she, she air fries them, but she loves it because it's fast and they are really delicious and they get a good crunch on them. Right. Like a crusty crunch that is really stinking Now good. I made those interesting. I don't even know if you noticed what I did now. This is my new thing when I'm smoking. I can't wait to do our brisket with this. Yes. Right? I'm gonna cover the entire brisket in Frank's red hot sauce. And then I'm gonna put my rub on top of that. Nice. And that's what I did with the beef ribs. So you oh, had it like it was like a, it was like a, a sweet and hot all at the same time, right? It was, it was good. really good. But the, uh, all of that salt and the pepper and the garlic like kind of traps the moisture in it. So I can't wait to do the brisket like that. Should I get like completely honest and transparent here and say that this entire cha challenge was just like a ruse to get us to do brisket again. Well, it's funny, Anthony, 
when, you know, we, we'd stopped, we'd gone to this uh, little like uh, thing for lawnmowers. We, it was, they, they have an annual sale and we'd gotten stuff. And then on the way home, we stopped at Sam's Club because I needed to get beef ribs. And um, I came out and I have a giant brisket. And also, I found our hamburgers. I know. Yeah, the hamburgers were back. Oh, happy day. <laughs> Just in time because today, today so when happy. we're filming this, it is hamburger day for the Chop Challenge. He's got good or he's got good. Um, so I get in the car and we're driving and, uh, you know, Anthony says something about food. And uh, he's like, you know what I really want? Oh, he saw the ribs. And he's like, I'm really in the mood for brisket. I'm like, guess what? Funny <laughs> There's you one say sitting that. back there. But it was $2 a pound at Sam's Club. I am so excited about our hamburgers. But actually, the recipe that I put out today that goes with the hamburger challenge had to do with a topping. Because you may have a, fav you know, a favorite way of preparing your hamburgers, but the toppings can change it all, all together. I liked jalapenos and hot sauce. Yeah. That, that was our first date. Our first date, we went to the restaurant. I think it was Ruby Tuesdays, right? Yes, we did. And we order Is like our a thing? meal. Are they still open? And the guy, lady brings me out my hamburger and I'm like, can I have a side order of jalapenos and whatever sauce you use on your wings? And Rachel just looks at me and it's like, who is this guy I'm dating? Like he's he's literally and they they bring me a thing of hot sauce. I feel sorry for your toilet all over. And I like like the pickled ones, right? Yes, the jalapenos that come in a jar that you would normally put on nachos. That's, those I could eat an entire jar of those things. I love them. They're delicious now, but back then I didn't really eat hot stuff. No, so it, I thought this guy is crazy. Let us know down in the comment section what is your favorite thing to put on top of a hamburger. You know what is good? What? And I don't think we do it enough is uh, nut butter. Yeah. Nut butter on a hamburger. If you're thinking to yourself like, I have a hard time with nut butter and I'm just gonna eat it by the jar and you're and you're wanting to enjoy nut butter, but maybe just not leave yourself alone with a jar of it, mm -hmm. put it on a hamburger as a topping because it really showcases the peanut butter or or nut butter, any nut butter, almond butter, and it tastes so good. Cool. Well, let's do this. Let's take a quick commercial break and then we're gonna come back because we have something very special that we need to do. So make sure you come back with us after the commercial and then we're gonna get into all of the comments. Welcome back. I love that show. Did you watch Welcome Back, Cotter? Of course I did. Like I'm a child of the 70s. I grew up with that show. I watched it in reruns, but that's where everybody learned about John Travolta. Yeah, so welcome back. We have something very special to do because, you know, not only did we have our Keto Crate giveaway, but during our day one No Joke vlog, uh, Redmond said we can give away some Redmond Relight. Three. So we're gonna pick three winners right now, and here's what the winners are gonna get. They're gonna get their choice of what flavor Redmond Relight you want. Yeah. So you have watermelon lime, you have lemon lime, pina colada, the mixed berry, and the unflavored. Yeah. Then you're also gonna get your decision on do you want to get it in the tub, or which sticks. is 50 servings or 30 servings in the individual sticks. Just depends on how you like it. Also, you're gonna get a box of the mini salt shakers. So there's six in here and these are great. Put in your purse, put in your briefcase, put in your pocket. We keep one in the car and then whenever you happen to go out, you've got some salt with you. Even if Good you salt. just like feel like, hey, I need a little bit of electrolytes. I don't have anything else around. Putting a little bit of that salt in your mouth or licking it off of your hand, it's awesome. Well, you know, and you even if you go out, you need it more than ever because they don't, I mean, at least where we're at, they don't have salt shakers on the table anymore. No. Even if you wanted to use the bad salt. Yeah. Now, if you don't know what Relight is, this is an electrolyte drink. Uh, each serving, I believe it is 500 milligrams of potassium. Tastes phenomenal. It's so good. We absolutely love it. If you are interested in some, there is a link down below. Lemon lime. And you can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos to get 15% off. And they just came out with like a multi pack if you don't know which flavor you want, where you can yeah. get like one of each flavor of the individual sticks for like 10 bucks and go ahead and give it a try. But let's all head over to pick a winner. Pick a winner, we're and back. pick the winner for the Relight. We're gonna start off, we got three different ones, so let's find out how many people wanna win. Who wants some red mints? We're gonna pick a winner. So there are 273 nice. unique comments, and the first winner is 
Bingo! Bingo 1745 said, I use a 48 steel blade meat tenderizer. It makes my steaks eat like butter. Wow. I can't afford ribeyes, etc. but you would never know that it's not. I am trying to up my protein, but I struggle with anything over five ounces. How does Rachel do it? <laughs> Happily. <laughs> I mean, I just tuck in and I'm ready to go. But thank you for that tip on tenderizing the meat because that's awesome. And I love trying to, you know, taste other kinds of steak like the skirt steaks or the hanger steaks, you know, the other flat steaks that we're going to be doing because you're getting uh, a cheaper cut of meat. Right. But maybe tenderizing it will help. Yeah. Let's head over and get the next two winners. All right. We're back. And uh, the next one is going to be dun, dun, Carmen dun. Fringer. <gasps> Carmen. Carmen said, I second the autumn idea as a charitable marathon. Nice. So for that, we were talking about possibly doing some type of like, I don't know, 6, 8, 10, 12 hour live stream for charity. Let us know down in the comment section if that what is charity? something you would be interested in. And also, what charity would we be supporting? We're really looking for something that would benefit from keto. So maybe like Alzheimer's awareness diabetes. or diabetes or something like that. Yeah. Let us know down in the comment section. We got one more winner to pick. All right, let's and see who's number three. And the last winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Karen, she says, I'm up for the watermelon live in the tub, but would take whatever. Keep up the good work. Well, Karen, if that's the flavor you want, that's the flavor you can get. So here's what the winners need to do. You need to send me an email at joe at twocrazyketos.com with your email address and all of your shipping information. And this is actually gonna be coming directly from Redmond. Also, you have to let me know what do you want? Do you what do you want it in a bag or do you want it in the tub? And what flavor do you want? You get a choice of one. So you can't have like one of each. It's which flavor and then do you want it in the bag or the tub? And then of course you also get this on top of it. And again, if you're interested in the Relight or any of the Redmond products, some of them you can get in local stores. Uh, anything you can, like the toothpaste, stuff like that. Um, you can use the link down below. Two Crazy Ketos will get you 15% off. They are huge supporters of our channel, so we appreciate you guys supporting the companies that support us. And congratulations to our winners, and a huge thank you for Redmond. Yeah. Okay, let's head into the comments now. All right. And we're going to start off with our Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. Professor. And this is somebody who put up a comment um, just something that's going to inspire people, get them thinking. And this week's adjunct professor is Blaine. Blaine. Blaine said, my best advice is remember KISS. Keto is super Ooh, simple. I like that. Whole real food. Check your labels. If you don't know an ingredient, search it on the internet. The internet is your best friend. It is. Find an app that works for you. I personally use Chronometer. It only takes a little getting used to. Blaine, that is such great advice. And I it's love- all great advice. It's really good advice. And I like that keep, what is it? Keto is super simple. Yes, I really like that. Better right? than keep it short, silly. Oh, well, that's not what I would always say. I would always say keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> I'm usually talking to myself, though. I know, but I like that thought. And also, hopefully, this challenge this month of like the CHOP challenge is helping you to do exactly that. Get back to a whole ingredient and create a meal around that item. Yeah. Okay, so next up, we have our subscriber of the week. And this week's is... My Lisa. Lisa. She says, amazing what a difference a year makes when dedicated to finding a healthier self. The weight loss was a bonus. The ability to walk up a single flight of stairs without stopping to breathe was the goal reached months ago, by the way. Take a look at that. Wow. Oh my gracious. That is incredible. You look so young. Yeah. She's a baby. Like, she like, I mean, she like aged backwards like 18 10 years, years right? old, maybe? <laughs> Now, if you are new to our channel, what we do is we have a Facebook family group. There is a link down below completely free to join. And we have some awesome moderators with yes. some very simple rules because we don't have any keto police over there. And we don't have any pushing of like different things like, you know, exogenous ketones from certain companies that yeah. begin with a P. So... <laughs> 
Um, go ahead and join that. And we ask you, please share your story. Your short story is going to inspire someone. There is someone out there right now who is going through what you are going through or what you have gone through and they think they're alone. And when you share your story, it motivates them. It inspires it really them. So we ask you, please share your story. And if you're not on Facebook, you can send your story to us at stories at twocrazyketos.com. And we do have one more subscriber of the week because I just couldn't decide. And that one is Wendy. Hey, Wendy. Wendy said, this is my 22 week progress picture. Sometimes you don't realize how far you've come until you look what you've come from. So true. Wow. That is so brilliant to save the shirt because like what a difference. You are like the incredible shrinking I woman. Know. She looks amazing. Way to go. I'm super proud of you. That's incredible. Yeah, so. You ready to get into some comments now? Yes, I am. Okay. So the first comment is from Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Kathy said, Rachel, you just keep looking better and better with your hair color. Well, thanks very much. My mom like likes to do a gray check whenever I come over. She'll have me walk out into the front yard so she can see it in the sun because it is different right. when you're looking in the sun and she's like you got a nice crop coming in there of course that woman doesn't grow gray hair just her daughter uh next one is from p-dog hey p-dog um she says you're way cuter than fiona apple thank you you remind me of kimmy from fuller house well that's a compliment and don't say ever apple with a full uh, a mouthful of food lol that's very true <laughs> it's funny when you put off that whole list of like people who like you were trying to become yes none of them are as sexy as you are that's because you're my husband. No, I'm you absolutely serious. You should say that. Okay, next one is from Melissa. Hey, Melissa. Melissa said, it is really funny how you get this idea of what attractive is as a teenager. I always wanted to be super skinny and petite, but at five foot eight and a half, I claim that half too, Rachel. Amen. A size double D bra by sixth grade and my father's brawny shoulders and right? larger bill. It is not a possibility. So I was never happy with myself. I always have been strong and wish I uh, had been able to be happy with more athletic frame instead of trying to achieve an impossible ideal. Melissa, thank you so much for sharing that. You just bless me so mightily because sometimes I think, well, maybe I'm the only person that's had this challenge in my mind. It was a little bit, honestly, embarrassing to share it. Mm -hmm. So I'm really, really thankful that I'm not the only one that feels that way it's kind of like when you go to get your hair cut and I can't even tell you how many times I've gone into haircuttery to this poor like salon person that's and I'm saying to them I would like this haircut from Meg Ryan in this movie and they're like well except for the fact that you have different hair texture a different face a different amount of hair and it's already cut differently than what you're seeing in this picture Thanks for giving me the impossible job. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'll try my best so that you can probably be unhappy and think it's my fault. I wonder if I can go into a local gym and tell a trainer like, hey, I would like to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger did in 1980 and see if you can help me accomplish that in like six months. Yeah, I mean, it's like we're we're dealing with an entirely different body type, but mm. like, but that's what I want. So give me that. Right. Uh, next one is from Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Jessica said, we have a family farm and raise beef, hogs, and crops. Wow. I think most people would be shocked by the wordplay on food products. For example, antibiotic-free. All meat has to be antibiotic-free for so many days when it's sold to the processor. This allows them to put a label of antibiotic-free on the meat, but it doesn't mean the animal didn't have an antibiotic in their lifetime. Right. From a farmer's standpoint and some food for thought, antibiotics can only be given to an animal if a vet writes a prescription. So it's become harder to get them and more expensive. We only give antibiotics to the animals if we need to, just as you would your child. Our paychecks depend on healthy living, uh, happy animals. But that being said, there are definitely bad apples out there who ruin it for the rest. Thanks for listening. Jessica, thank you so much for sharing that. And we just absolutely love our local farmers. If there's a way for you to buy your meat from a local farmer, do that because mm -hmm. you are getting 
animals that you know are being cared for. A lot of times you can visit the farm even and right. see where you're getting your food, which is awesome. But yeah, when I was watching Dr. Pohl, my mind changed a lot when I saw him as a vet going out to some of these family farms and maybe there was a problem during birth. Right. And so they were really agonizing over giving medicine to the animal because they were wondering like, well, this may change their identification from like organic, ne you know, never having any kind of antibiotic or something. But as a pet owner, mm -hmm. I'm sitting there watching this poor cow that it's like, if we don't give it the, the medicine, then it could get an infection and die. Right. If, if our pets needed medicine, they would be getting medicine because right. I love them. And it's not a case of I'm trying to, you know, hurt the the person who's getting this cow that is not their intention at all i think that you know most farmers are doing things very responsibly and they want to get you great meat but they also want to you know keep the integrity of their farm and take care of their animals because they love them yeah you know it is interesting when it comes to the meat it's just like the rest of the food industry they get to play games like you know grass-fed ground beef well that just means they've been fed grass sometime in their life. It doesn't mean they've been on grass the whole time. Also, what a lot of people think is that if they're eating like, you know, beef that's not grass fed, labeled grass fed, then that cow was only given grain their whole life. And that's actually not the case. Pretty much all the cows, they're spending most of their time on the pasture. And what happens is they bring them in towards the end to fatten them up with a little bit of grain. And I have to be honest, I think it tastes better. Like we really don't do grass finished, grass fed beef that much anymore because the grain finished tastes a little bit better to me. It's a little bit fattier. It's a little bit more flavorful. What I care more about is finding an, uh, somebody who is selling green, uh, ground beef that is grass fed as they're growing up. And then when they're grain fed at the end, that is free of any kind of GMOs or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, and the more local we can purchase our meat, the better we feel. Yep. So next one is from Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. She says, I'm blown away that I'm able to do the no joke challenge exercises. First few days was a little rocky, but with each day I get stronger and they get a little easier or I do them better. Haha. -ha. I'm believing for more amazing things for myself. That is so awesome. Jennifer, I am so glad that I feel like you do about about it. You know, the first day is kind of clunky and every day I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at it. And it's funny when we have any kind of strength training where I'm trying to like lift weights or, you know, I've, I've kind of added weights to my walk. I think to myself, like, am I doing something wrong? Because it's not feeling as heavy and burdensome as it did. Like, I'm not quite as sore. Am I not working out as hard? And it's like, no, I'm starting to get it down and right. I'm actually building muscle. So, okay, take it to the next level as you feel confident with this movement. And that's kind of exciting because I'm not going to be at like beginner 101 for the rest of my life. And right. I like that feeling. Uh, next one is from Luthiton. Luthiton. Said, hey, I just discovered your channel and I love it so far. Thank you. I'm wondering if you have a video or a post about your new bikes. I'm in the market for a bike and I'd love to know what bikes you got and what you love about them. So yeah, as I said earlier, uh, we are in the middle of filming a review video, but we really wanted to test them because this was a big investment. We sold our regular Trek bicycles yeah, this is a to huge help purchase these, but what we liked about this particular set is they are foldable, so they fold up in half and the handlebars fold down, so that allows us to take it out more. And we're going on longer rides because normally, like we would struggle for five miles because, you know, your legs get tired. Whereas this, you're still pedaling. You are still getting a workout. But it gives a smooth but it's ride. Smoother. It's, I kind of say it's like going on a treadmill. Like, you know, like can, you can run down the street and that seems to take a lot more effort to run say five miles on the street as opposed to five miles on a treadmill because it's, it's kind of helping you. It's helping you keep that pace. And that's kind of what a bicycle, with that's an electric bicycle does. Well, it's kind of like, you know, if you go on the moving sidewalk, mm -hmm. don't you always feel like you inspired walk it, right? to go, to walk really fast on it? Like all of a sudden it's like making you feel bionic and right. you want to go like really fast on that. If nobody is on a moving sidewalk, dude, I am booking it because it just feels cool beneath me. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how this bike feels. It's like, if you enjoy 
riding on a stationary bike inside of your house and you could take that bike outside mm -hmm. and keep pedaling it that'd be cool right yeah. oh like, yeah it's super cool but the bicycles if you are interested what we did get was we got bikes called yami uh, we're not affiliated with them, but I will leave a link down below. And we got two different ones. We got the Yami 750, and then we got the Yami Fat Bear, which is mine, and that's the one we're waiting for a battery that's supposed to be here today. So fingers crossed. Yes. Uh, next one is from Benova. Benova says, how can I overcome my cheating? I'm a bakery manager, so it's in my face 40 hours a week. I need to find my motivation again. Help. Also, 175 grams of protein is so hard to eat in a day. I ordered the May Keto Chow, so that may help. Okay, so as far as overcoming cheating, maybe a couple of tricks you can maybe do is when you go to work, eat before you go to work. Yeah. Like kind of go to work full so that even the thought of putting something else in your stomach yeah. is gonna like almost nauseate you. Then some of it is just gonna have to come down to willpower. I like to, you know, cause we've, you know, we've done shipping and stuff like that. And I, one of the things that we always had is like a lot of toys mm -hmm. and my brother would, would get toys for, um, you know, comic book related stuff. And some of them I love cause I love comic book things. And I would say to him, like, let me buy that from you, you know, and I know I'm, I'm going to get it at cost. And he'd be like, I don't mind doing it, but you understand that if you use this product like it means that we're not selling this product and i think sometimes if you're like i can't eat anything around here not just because it's off my diet but it's like cost me money. but it's gonna cost me money because this is product that i'm trying to sell or if you're working for a bakery this is product that my that this business that i work for is trying to sell so this is off limits like if I, if I go someplace else, you know, then I'll make the decision there. But for here at my workplace, workplace stuff is off limits. That's a good point. Now, as far as eating all of the protein, work your way up. You know, a lot of us were eating probably half as much protein as we're supposed to eat for a long time. And you may struggle getting it all that in. So just take your time. Like Bronson said, it doesn't have to be an overnight thing where you go from 70 grams to 170 grams. Work your way up so long as you're trying to get more in each time you're gonna be fine. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Renee. Hey, Renee. She said, so funny, I actually fooled you. She fooled us big I time. I almost removed the comment as I was scared of offending someone, but others urged me to leave it. So glad they you did. You guys are amazing, and I can't thank you enough for always putting a smile on my face. I love your faces, your voices, your perkiness, and even your black pants. Thanks, Renee. You can't please everyone, but you've literally saved so many lives. Thank you for being real, honest, and true. Renee, I love you so much. Like, she is such a rainbow of just light and 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 everything good in the world. I feel like that's what Renee is. Like she's she's your biggest cheerleader. She mm -hmm. she is a monitor in the Facebook family group. So if you have not joined Facebook family group, you want to because right. you want Renee in your life because if you're having a struggle or if you need somebody to help celebrate a win with you, she is such a great friend. Right. Like she is a Facebook family friends. Yeah. I love you. Let's do this. Let's take another quick commercial break. We'll come back, wrap up with all of the Facebook comments. And okay. There's a doozy one in there for you. Uh-oh. Is it time for a nap? No, it's just a reminder that if you use the link down below for our sponsor, Equip, you will get 25% this week off of Smart Sleep, and that coupon is only good for this week, and you have to use the link below. If you go directly to their website, it's not going to work. So again, if you're needing some magnesium or protein or anything like that, go ahead and please support the sponsors that are supporting us. Thank you very much, Equip Nutrition, for supporting this week's Keto on the Couch. And it saves us from buying our Calm subscription. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's head into the Facebook comments. And the first one is from Shelby. Hey, Shelby. She said, when do you do, guys do the live streams? I thought it was only on Thursdays, but I saw I missed another one yesterday. I don't want to keep missing them live. Aww. Is there a schedule? Well, we um, just for the month of April, we are doing um, a no joke challenge live stream with Bronson where we're checking in every single week. And that's on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. Right. Right. So here's our basic schedule. Mondays, 10 a.m., we premiere Keto on the Couch every single week. That is a constant. Like a piece of relish in my... <laughs> Where did that come from? My egg salad. We've been filming this for an hour, and all of a sudden sorry. you've got relish in your mouth. I am so sorry. <laughs> 
Okay, so Mondays is Keto on the Couch. Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is our normal live stream. And then throughout the rest of the week, we upload at least three videos because if we are consistent about anything, we are inconsistently consistent. No, we're doing so good, Joe. <laughs> I'm so proud of us. I don't claim that. Okay, now we also do live stream occasionally, just like we will kind of sit Pop around in. the house and be like, hey, let's go I do a live everybody. stream. So we will go do that. And that's why you want to make sure you're not only subscribed to the channel, but you hit that little bell button because if you hit the little bell button, it's going to alert you. When we go Be live, it's gonna show up on your phone going, hey, those two crazy ketos, they're live right now. So that's why you wanna hit that bell button. Also, what are they up to? we do a monthly live stream for all of our Patreon supporters. Yeah. Okay, so next one is from Jeffrey. Hey Jeffrey, he says, my wife is looking at getting a CGM. So far, her doctor will not prescribe one. What have has been your experiences since we are willing to purchase it ourselves, but apparently need to have a prescription first? Okay, so you have a couple of options. Now, first of all, let, let's say this right here again. Just gotta remind everybody. Not doctors. We're not doctors. We're not nurses. We're not medical professionals. It's bare chance that he- We're, we would we're be, barely professional at all. We would be working for Red Lobster first. <laughs> First, for sure. <laughs> okay, so you have a few options. Number one, you can go the Nutrisense route, right? Boop. With Nutrisense, you just go ahead like, and use the I link like do down like below. Yeah, you just want to show off your guns. <laughs> Um, you're going to use the link down below. You Which can use the, the coupon code 2 Crazy Ketos. That's going to get you $30 off. They have a few options. You can try it just for 14 days to do some experiments. You can get it for a month. You can sign up for like a three month subscription, a six month, and a year. Obviously, the longer you like subscribe for it, the cheaper it's cheaper going it is. to be. Uh, that's one option. Now, doing it that way, you have to just answer a few medical questions and they will have a teledoc, so basically prescribe what you want and then mail it to you. The other option is to go to your doctor and I'm gonna tell you again, not doctors, go to your doctor and say, hey, yep. I have had periods where my blood glucose has been elevated, which we, we all have, has. right? So say, you know, I, you know, sometimes eat the wrong things. I want to control my blood sugar. So I would like a CGM so I could monitor so that I don't get diabetes. When they say no, say, okay, no problem. I understand you don't want to give me one, even though I'm willing to pay for it out of my pocket. Can you please notate in my chart that you refuse to give me a prescription for a CGM, even though I'm willing to pay for it. And now I would like a copy of that right now. Because what you are doing basically here is you are nicely saying, if I develop any kind of problem with glucose and diabetes, I'm going to sue you and I want the proof for it right now that you could have prevented that. And they're gonna be like. So now you're not saying <laughs> that, you're saying I would like a copy of it that you refuse to give me a prescription. Watch how fast they're going to write that prescription. The other option is go ahead and yes. call Dr. Cywes, which is yeah. the way I went. I will leave a link for his channel right up here. He's known as the Carb Addiction Doc, and he does teleconferences uh, and teledoc stuff where you can get a consultation with him. I'm going to be honest with you, he is very blunt, and he's going to tell you why you are having a problem, and yes. usually it's because we're addicted to carbohydrates. Right. But if you do a consultation with him, a lot of times you can get a prescription through him. Yeah, and you're gonna learn a lot about yourself because he is so honest. But then this third option is what we're doing with NutriSense, which is, you know, you're you're just calling into them and like he's saying, they'll they'll do the tell doc. So if you're like me and in the confrontation with your regular doctor that you're talking about, I don't think I could do that. Right. Like I think it would be really challenging for me. I think this would be an easier route for me. And then also, I really like that all throughout this first 14 days, we've had um, a medical professional like checking in with us right. and talking about the results because they're seeing the results in live time. And I think a lot of times if you just get it through your doctor, you know, they, they prescribe it to you and maybe they talk about it on the other end of 14 days or a month, right. but I like the daily check-in. Yeah. Okay, so next one is from Steph. Hey, Steph. You're gonna like this one. Uh-huh. It just says, here you, here you go, go Rachel. Rachel. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's gonna be better than that. Oh no. How did they get that thing hung from there? Oh no, it's not hanging. No, no, it's not crawling. Oh my. Oh, oh no, 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 no. 
Oh my god! Wow! How did it, how did it get in the store? Oh, the did not have the door to the front. Can you imagine, like, doesn't the 7-Eleven thing have like a ding dong when you go in there? Ding dong. I really thought that you would like that. Now, if you're new to our channel. Is he monitoring? <laughs> is he monitoring the store? If you are new to our channel, Rachel Terrified. has two fears. Yep. Lizards. And frogs. Yep. And those fears trump everything. Like, go camping, go swimming with alligators. No, no problem. problem. Snakes. No problem. But seeing an alligator, seeing a frog freaks her out. Uh, next one is from Mary Jo. Hey, Mary Jo. She says, okay, I'm kind of lost. How do you and what are you counting each day? Carbs, calories, or protein? Okay, so this is very simple. Head on over to our website. Up on the very top of the website, you're going to see how to do keto. You can also see on the vlog, there is a macro calculator. Go ahead and use that stuff. What we are doing is a one-to-one, -one, which is not like different than what people think is keto. Some of you are like, that's not keto. It is. You're eating 65 to 70% fat from calories. We are not counting calories. Why? Because as Dr. Barry says, counting calories is... Not smart. Stupid. <laughs> okay, here's why counting calories is stupid. Because... When they figure out calories, which is they take a food and they put it into an enclosed chamber and they burn it. And how long it takes determines the energy it takes to burn it. Here's the problem. Your body is not an enclosed environment. No. There's a lot of things that change things, like your metabolism. So somebody may say to you, like, hey, you need to eat 1,500 calories to lose weight. But what if you were like us and you screwed up your metabolism. You could possibly be gaining weight at 1500 calories. It comes down to the right food because I know some people are gonna disagree with this. A calorie is not a calorie is not a calorie. There is a difference between kinds of calories. Now, there is not a huge difference between a carbohydrate calorie and a fat calorie. Why? Because both of those are used by for as energy for your body, but there is a difference between a protein calorie and a fat calorie. Why? Our body does not want to use protein as energy. In other words, you're not gonna get fat eating protein. No. So counting protein calories is kind of stupid because again, those calories don't matter. You right. care about the fuel calories. So if you eat a one-to-one, -one, which is eating X amount of protein, for example, 150 grams of protein, and then you eat less than that amount or up to that amount of fat, you will be good because you're not giving more of the energy than your protein. And we're gonna do a little bit of exercise and that will help us. Lower your energy, carbohydrates and fat, and you will lose some more weight. But we do need to have some energy, otherwise you're gonna be really lethargic. Yeah, so you called it fat, but it's right. really fuel. So right. 150, um, grams of protein and then 150 grams of fuel as a total and that is the mixture of fat and carbs together now that number is just an example you're going to use our macro calculator to figure out what number yours For is you. and also go check out some of the stuff from like dr ted Naiman. you can check out some of bronson stuff join us on our wednesday live stream yeah. and ask bronson the questions and again not doctors or nurses or health professionals or trainers these are all stuff that we have learned stuff that has helped us along our keto journey the only thing i really want you to count is your carbohydrates so right keep your carbohydrates rates under whatever number you choose we suggest using if either a total carb protocol or a net carb with a total carb cap but under no circumstance should you be exceeding like 40 total carbs in a day okay next one is from cynthia hey cynthia cynthia said so like a minute of jumping jacks is a really long time it is such a long time so like talking to a friend on the phone or watching a netflix show a minute is like that mm -hmm. jumping jacks push-ups pull-ups running in place all of those things it's like a minute is is in like it's seriously in like slow motion right it's like to the next one the only time it's worse is when somebody's counting for you oh because yeah then you're like, like what's going on up. right so i remember when i used to do crossfit and then if i wouldn't do something right the trainer would make me do it over again don't you and say he'd mississippi be, he'd be like no it'd be like okay 
that's 50. Nope, that's 50. And it kind of reminded me of like when I was like the a parent to young kids and they would do something wrong and you say like, hey, I need to do this now. And you'd be like, I'm Don't gonna give you the count of three. One. No. Don't do that, parents. Two. Two that and a half, half, right? Nope. That's how I feel the trainer was like, hey, you gotta do it again. One you gotta do it again. Mississippi, two miss. I'm like, I need you to count like this. That's what I need. <laughs> uh, next one is from Paul. Hey Paul, he says, are the ketone breath meters accurate or should I just get a blood ketone tester? Um, Yes and, and no. no. <laughs> okay, so uh, our blood key, our breath ketone meters accurate. Yes, the good ones, okay? What do I mean by a good one? The 20 or 30 or $50 ones you're gonna find on Amazon, not good ones. No Those way are no. cheap, just breathalyzers because they're measuring acetone in your um, breath. They're also basically, what they're doing is they're checking your carbon dioxide levels for acetone. So you have to calibrate them. So you really need the good ones. So, you know, if you get just a cheap one, it's gonna be good for about four or five, you know, things. And then also, if you just leave it on the counter, it's picking up whatever's in the air. You need a good one that calibrates itself every time you start. So you're looking at a couple hundred dollars with them. The other thing with them is, you really have to know how to use it. Now yes. we've done a couple of review videos on it's them. like diaphragm, Like you have the catonics and, and you know, there's a couple of them. It's like you but can channel it. Yeah. It's the, not like a regular breath. The acetone gotta, isn't deep in the bottom yeah. of your lungs. So the way you're gonna use a breathalyzer is you're gonna suck your air in, then you're gonna exhale everything. Yeah. Then you're gonna keep exhaling. And when there's no more to exhale, then you're going to keep going with that into the meter so that what's going into the meter is what's in the very bottom of your lungs. If you just breathe into it, you're not gonna get a correct reading. No. Now, what that's doing is that's telling you if how much fat you're actually burning. So that is very accurate. But if you eat too early before taking it, if you have any alcohol, there's so many things that it can affect it. Yeah. Blood meters are actually measuring the excess ketones that are floating in your blood. You could be in ketosis, which is using ketones for fuel, and if you're not eating carbohydrates, you're using ketones or yeah. fat for fuel, one or the other, but have a low number. The high number doesn't mean anything. So here's what I'm gonna tell you. And again, if you want a keto meter, we actually have links for both Keto Mojo and Keto Coach down below, and we have discounts for them. But if you are just eating low carbohydrate, keeping your carbs under 20. You're in ketosis. You're in ketosis. You yeah. don't need it. You know what happens with the meters is it makes you chase a number. It yeah. makes you freak out. It's kind of like the pee sticks. When you first get started on keto, that pee stick's gonna be bright purple and you're awesome. Two weeks later, after your body has learned what to do with the ketones, it turns like white and you're like, I'm Mine not in ketosis. Not in you ketosis? are, but now your body's actually using the ketones. It's not dumping them in your urine. Yeah. And you start chasing that. Don't chase the numbers. Just do the right thing and don't worry about the ketone meters. And honestly, too, I wouldn't use ketone meters to for, like I see sometimes people will say, they will use it to, to see, is this particular food item kicking me out of ketosis. That is not really a thing. Right. Like it, we did um, a recent video and we ate a totally keto meal. And as you can see, after we're done eating it, our ketone levels go down because yeah. anything you eat is going to make yeah, your ketone levels go down. Because you're giving your body some fuel. So you're gonna use up those, you know, free floating ketones. Yeah. And also you can ma manipulate it by eating a bunch of fat. The more fat you eat, the higher the ketones are. But your body's just turning that fat to ketones and it's floating around your blood, but you don't really need them. You actually want to have lower ketones if you're trying to lose fat because you want to be using up your body fat and using all of that for energy. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Rob Knott. Hey, Rob Knott. Said, so proud of myself. During Easter, I tracked for one day my heart rate. Resting was 46 wow. and walking around was in the 70s as high as 90. I'm feeling great. My run has gotten faster, so I did a 2K warm-up run yesterday wow. in zone two at 550 per uh, kilometer pace. And my biking power seems to be getting easier. And I'm only on day eight of the challenge. I am so incredibly proud of you. That is so stinking awesome. And if you're like us and, and we're living a very sedentary lifestyle, you know, until recent months, really, isn't it even more exciting? Because you're like, I'm getting older right. age-wise, but I am seriously aging backwards as far as mobility is concerned. Yeah. 
Uh, next one is from Shell. Hey, Shell. She said, LOL. Why is this so true? Says me. I can't wait to lose weight in my stomach, thighs, and arms. Weight loss. We are taking your boobs. <laughs> me. But my legs and face. My back fat, too. Weight loss, boobs. It is. That is so stinking. Don't get us demonetized. It is accurate. Okay? <laughs> I don't understand why these guys have to go first. I don't know. The the fat loss comes knocking for the knockers. <laughs> Next one is from Barbara. Hey Barbara, she says, hi all, I've been doing keto since October 2019. I'm five pounds from my goal weight. I started lifting eight months ago and saw a change in my body. This last week I've joined along and increased my protein to 150 grams a day. I have to say I'm kind of scared. This is more calories than I'm used to. I would love to be able to eat this much. I need some encouragement. Can this be real? Of course it can be real. Yeah. Now Barbara, here's what I want you to do. I want you to really join our live stream on Wednesday with Bronson at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. So. Bronson will talk about this, and if you're not able to join the live stream for some reason, get into our Facebook group and send him a message and he can talk to you about it. But he talked about it last week. You're probably not eating more calories because you have to remember your protein calories don't count. So are you eating more protein? Yes. Does that mean you're eating more food? Yes, but if you take the protein calories out, out you're probably eating less calories than before because we're not increasing the fuel side, we're only increasing the protein side. So for example, they say that one gram of protein is four calories. So if you're eating 100 grams of protein, that's 400 calories you can throw out. So if you're eating 1500 calories, but 400 calories are coming from protein, you're really only eating 1100 1 calories. Yeah. And it's the same thing with the fat. They say that a gram of fat is nine calories. So if you're eating, you know, like a hundred grams of pro of fat, that's nine hundred calories. So if you're eating, you can eat three hundred grams of protein, but a hundred grams of fat, like that's where I'm at, right? I'm eating about two hundred and fifty grams of protein now, but about a hundred grams of fat. So with all of that protein, I'm only eating technically nine hundred calories of fuel per day. So you're eating more food, but, but you're eating less calories. And I know right. it doesn't make sense, but trust me, go ahead and join the live stream and talk to Bronson about it. Well, it's it. just short, sort of shows you like eating the right things right. will have a significant change, right? Right. Like, so you're still getting to eat extra food and stuff. And people say, you know, it's challenging to get my protein in, but if you prioritize you that, more. you're going to get to eat more. Right. Because, and that's again why a calorie is not a calorie is not a calorie. You hear people are calories, a calorie is a calorie. No, there's a giant difference between 100 calories of sugar, like an Oreo cookie, and 100 calories of chicken breast. Yeah. Your body's not going to use the chicken breast for fuel, it's going to use it for amino acids, it's going to use it for building lean muscle. So, there's a whole difference. 100 calories of cookies, it's going to use it for fuel or store it as fat. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Sherry Keto. Hey, Sherry. She says, hi, group. Does anyone have any helpful ideas or opinions about Built Bars? <laughs> I have become addicted to them this last month, but am concerned if they might not be as keto friendly as I believe they are. Probably should do a glucose trial test, but just haven't done it. Maybe subconsciously, I don't want to know if they have had a negative impact. So darn tasty. Thanks for any opinions. So where do we start on this? Well, I experienced something very similar, especially during like the holiday times, like mm -hmm. November and December, when I sort of allowed myself to have more of Built Bars during that time of year because it's holiday season. And, and this was the old formulation, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it was the old formulation. And I I could not just eat just one. I mean, it, it was very strange. And I'm a, usually a pretty disciplined person, I don't snack, you know, in between meals. Mm -hmm. So it was weird to me that it wasn't just one built bar. I had to have like five of them. And mm -hmm. my best friend, Beth, and we've been friends since high school, she reached out to me and said, Hey, any chance you're having a hard time with built bars? Because I cannot stop myself from eating a whole bunch. I think that maybe there's something in there that's just peaking my brain to, to just want all of the built bars. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on inside of them. Maybe, you know, some people love them. Some mm -hmm. people live by them and they, mm -hmm. they think they're the greatest thing ever. But the fact that I feel out of control around them means 
I, I don't want them. Yeah. I don't want to eat them. Yeah. So we used to celebrate them because I love the thought of eating chocolate and having zero guilt, right. like it says on, on the bar. But I wasn't feeling zero guilt anymore. And once what I'm experiencing doesn't track with what I'm seeing on the wrapper means that we're putting that aside. Yeah. Now we actually, a long time ago with the old formulation did a glucose test. I will leave a link for that up above Rachel. And I did not have a glucose impact on the old formulation. We have not tried the new one, but you will see in that video, I actually said, cause somebody actually commented once, like, I don't understand no impact on your glucose yet. You say, I don't know about this one because to me, it's like a candy bar and it can be very triggering. And I think that that's what happens with a lot of people Maybe. where it is just triggering. It's like Dr. Cyrus talks about, like he is not a big fan of like keto cookies, keto brownies or anything because we're carb addicts and that stuff can trigger you and now you have the real thing. So if you really like, I am just never gonna have the real thing, what do you do? You just eat a bunch of those. Well, they're not guilt free and you can't have that much carbs and fiber, even if you want to call them net carbs, um, without having some kind of a negative impact. That's again, why we talk about do, if you want to do net carbs, have a total carb cap, because even with a total carb cap, you won't be allowed to have more than one because it would put you over your total carb cap. But you know, if you don't have that, you can eat two, three, four, five, ten of them in a night. Also, that is one of the reasons why, because Rachel had an issue, we stopped our affiliation with them. So we don't have a coupon code for them anymore. Sometimes it shows up in some of the bottom of the videos. Um, we try to take it out. I took it out of them when the new ones, but all of the old videos, like you'll see that it doesn't work anymore. We're no longer affiliates of them. Well, and because I still will enjoy like a just made keto muffin, I will enjoy a high key cookie. I will eat keto bars, keto bricks. I mean, all, all kinds of stuff, perfect keto bars. And I don't have a problem. I can eat one and we're done. Right. It was just something wonky going on. Yeah. So we have one more and it is from Gifty. Hey Gifty. Said stupid question here. No stupid question. Does anyone use the free version of MyFitnessPal? And if you do, how do you put in your macros? When you do, I exceed the 100% option. This macros below are in grams, not percentage right. Um, I would highly recommend do not use MyFitnessPal. If you don't want to use Chronometer because you find it confusing, use like carb manager my fitness pal i definitely would not recommend especially if you're using to add foods there's too many foods on there that are yeah. not appropriate or not right or not correct not verified and um what's going to happen is is you're going to end up putting information in there and it's going to throw off everything for you and they're really not designed for keto so if you don't want to use carb uh, chronometer which is what we always recommend and again it's completely free use carb manager because at least that kind of allows you to do macros uh, the nice thing also about chronometer is that you can put in exactly what macros you want as far as like grams of protein grams of fat and all right. of that stuff Okay, so we do have one more and it is from Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer said, so I was feeling bad this morning because I missed my workout yesterday. It was a really busy day and friends showed up from out of town. Oh, nice. I was mentally beating myself up, feeling like a failure. What? And if I don't do every day perfect, I'm not good enough to do this challenge. Wrong. Wrong is right. Then I realized that I missed, uh, the one day I missed shouldn't stop me from continuing. I know, common sense, right? But I did hit my protein goals and I've done my workouts every other day and each day I'm getting stronger and I feel better. I know all of this, but even the strongest in happiness can have moments of self-doubt and frustration. Just wanted to share this today in case anybody else is having a rough patch. Keep going, we got this. Jennifer, what great advice and thank you for being so transparent because mm -hmm. I think sometimes people are like, I am the only person that thinks that if this planner doesn't look like every 31 days of this challenge doesn't have like the sticker on it and I didn't do it perfectly, I have to throw it out and start over again and I'll get to this next month when I can do it perfect. Life is not perfect. You're not the only person that feels like that. I've definitely had times where I just feel defeated because something happened. But I love how you just get right back on that horse. That's what it's all about and keep going. And look how great you're doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is awesome. And when you have an interruption, 
a great interruption, like friends coming to visit, you don't want to miss out. Right. You don't want to say to them, like, I'm sorry, we can't go out today because I, this is my time that we're supposed to be exercising and I'll, I'll just see you the next time you come into town in six months or a year. Like, right. you're not going to do that. We right. just, we live our lives. So enjoy your success and just keep going. Yeah. Well, that is going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, remember, you, uh, please visit the sponsors that support Two Crazy Ketos. Again, you can use the link down below to get the Smart Sleep at 25% off. And if there are other products that you're interested in from them, we do have a coupon code. It's Two Crazy Ketos. And uh, I don't remember how much that saves you, if it's 15 or 20%. But if you use that coupon, you will get a discount off of that. But that is a one-time use per email discount. So yeah. just keep that in mind. If, if you're going to use it, I would use it on something really big. Go big or go home. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the other Keto on the Couches because there are 108 other ones. Wow. And I'm going to link that playlist right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Whether you go this way or you go this way, don't forget to go this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.